Hey human beings, welcome back to the channel. I'm Not Your Dad, and today we are in the Minecraft realm again. I decided to make this update video at this time because I'm figuring that this realm is probably going to be dead in the next month or so. So, we're just going to do a quick update on everything that's happened in the realm up to this point since the last video, which I made about a month ago. Now let's get right into it. Now, our first build is the spawn house, constructed a really long time ago, using a nice simple wooden and stone design. It doesn't have anything too complex to it, just a chest, a few random resources in it. And we have the hello sign, which has been here since about day two of the realm, so that is this house. It Moving to the left of the spawn house, we have Price's house. Now this is also a nice simple build with a bunch of destroyed farms outside of it. Except this one, I think this is the only one that really does anything. Then we have right here, the inside. Nice, simple, classic Minecraft survival house. Then we come into the basement and we have an entire army of dogs. That's it, just a bunch of dogs. Right down here, we have the f ma the barn, the epic barn that was st started to build in right at the start of the last video. So we did have the frame for this done, but now we have pretty much everything done. A lot of horses in it, so we were breeding them to get better horses. Now we got this lab down here because i tried to do the thing with the speed potions and jump boost potions to make it better coming up from the barn we have alex's house now this was kind of finished at the start of last video but now it has all this like turning corrupted sort of vibe to it and it has this tower here and this hole at the top which dropped down into this part I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen here. It's like 90% done, so this is the cool inside, which has also been changed. But the really cool part is behind some of these paintings, we have this lush cave area that is visible. Right here, this is an entrance to it. in here for some reason um, and it walks around all the way over to this area with the glass that I just showed kind of like going through the paintings in like Mario 64 if you get what I'm saying and then it has that one too just all these cool stairs just very like abstract very very cool build and coming up from here we have the mountain which is where I reside, where Cullen resides. And this is a pretty important place because it was the main active area at the start of everything. Now our first build here is no one's home. This is our animal pen. Really nice, simple design. Four little pens in it. And we come over to the entrance. It has chest for keeping farming stuff it's nice and small serves a good purpose and right from here we have my new house which since last time has made a little bit of a change we have the beacons upgraded a bit we have two of them now and we also have one inside of my house we have this corner right here which has this pink sheep that i found a few days ago I have all of my storage right here instead of scattered all over my floor. The beacon in the center here. The furnace is over there. Then in this corner, for some reason, I decided to add this little like lava tunnel that leads out the back of the house. Now past this, up the stairs, we've got the enchanting table. Then we have all this balcony area. And we have the color changing area of the beacon, so you can turn that off. Flip this. 
and it will change color. I like keeping it on red just because it goes the best with the rest of the base, like red windows right here. And right here we have the epic bed. And that's everything upstairs. Oh yeah, it took a really long time to build. It has those two spots. There goes Colin over there. Now right here we have this tunnel which will lead you out. This is my broken kelp farm because they added patches to the glitches it was using. The furnace XP farm and the actual zero tick kelp mechanism that it uses. Now right down from here we have this small axolotl tank. Then right down here we have the hole in the wall that goes to Colin's house. Which I think is a really cool build. Just because of the actual rest of it. This is the main top part of the house. Which has this nice little exit here. Then it has this underneath area. Easy down here. Armor room. This really epic window looking out down there. Then it keeps going down even more. But this kind of feels like an old fashioned Minecraft room. Just like color scheme. I think it's very nice. Down even more. To this room and out here this exit and then you pull up this way you have this nice little cave area just some more storage down there and then this spot i think leads to a tunnel that connects it to like the more parts of his house or i guess not i didn't know this room was here uh i'm not sure what that's going to turn into if I make another one of these videos, we will see. But now, right out from here, I just want to show this area real quick. We're going to make our next town area over here. We got um, this area is also part of Colin's house. going to be connected to it eventually, I think. Yeah. Connects all the way up to his house from there. Then we just have this massive farm area. And this nice little river. And there isn't much done. We have this hedge maze, which we're probably going to move somewhere else. It takes up a lot of space. And we had a building right there, but it got torn down because it wasn't very good. But then we do have this nice little cabin I built up here. It has this chimney in the back. And on the inside, we got this fireplace here. And I made this nice little loft area with those red beds. We have a basement, which is just, like, for digging stuff out for resources. And that's pretty much it. Just built this to have it here. That I can have property near the city. And now we're at the other side of the mountain. There's my house right there. And right across from it, we have the church. There hasn't, there has been a bit of progress to the church. We have this back room right now, which is actually, if you're Catholic, the, this is our, this is our tabernacle area and all that stuff. We have, this is front view and we used to have a cow in here, the holy cow, but it is gone now. Rest in peace. We have those edited paintings on the texture pack we have. we we'll come out here. Well, that's our main tree farm area, then right over the wall here, we have Camden's house, which he plays sometimes, but his house doesn't really receive much changes. Massive farms, and then he has his inside area here, his, his dead cow, um, another farm, more farming, storage and stuff like that, didn't really receive many changes. Then we come over here to Isaac's house, another broken kelp farm. And this one's really cool. It's like this nice little cave design, nice and simple. Upstairs, storage area here. And it's also right under the church, as you can see right there. There's one of the stairs. The farming area. And it's a very, very nice house. I really like the entrance, too. And right here, this is Brendan's new iron farm. Which still doesn't work, because I told him not to build it in the side of the mountain, because I knew it wouldn't work. 
and it still didn't work. Right down from here, we have Brady T's Mansion. I don't know if this build, I don't think it's made any progress since last time, but it's a nice, really fancy build. Very nice organized storage, some random stuff around. But got all this fancy stuff, this back area, which is really fancy. And there's not much outside detail because I think he was going to build up, but just hasn't been playing at all. So it's just left like this for now. Then it has this nice little front area, which is like a circle court to like a big mansion or something fancy like that. So I'm coming right next to here, one of the newer builds which was only just started last time I made this video, which is Carter's house. It is a very cool build, built by Brendan. It has this nice little tower area, which has a staircase leading up to it. This other tower, kind of, kind of thinking like the Wunstler's house from the Lorax is the vibes I first got from that. But it has this storage area here. Then we have down here, the dungeon, not not too sure about that, um, up here, back to that area, then it has this floor here, and you can keep going up the stairs to this third area, which brings you the tower to the enchantry area, just like this right now, we jump out this window. Very, very cool build. Now, right down from here, we have the small, I'd say, town square-ish area. These are some of the earlier builds to the town that are going to be connected to it eventually. Probably by next video. But starting it off, we have the bank. Which, it hasn't been used. We have the loan system, and we also have the vaults, which I didn't show off last time. Start it off. We have this lever, which opens this area which appeared to have already been opened yeah there there we go now we come in here this is our like main control area we have this those two levers will come here and open okay everything's already been opened i'm closing them so that those are our two our two smallest vaults Now watch. Okay, looks like some redstone might need to get tweaked. I think it might just be a bit outdated or broken. But we don't really use those. Then, and right here, those two levers will open this area down here. And then right here, this will open our two the controls to our two level two vaults, which are already open. So we have that piston door here, opens into this area. And this one also is the same, opens into this area. Then we have this big golden door. This lever, let me see if I can catch it in time. It's a three by three piston door into this epic area, which I can't finish because people actually need to buy the vaults first but we do have one of these levers hmm looks like some of my redstone is a bit outdated or maybe it's the block choice i'm not sure i'll have to i'll have to look into that i feel like it might be game updates yeah well this is sad yeah, it looks like stuff is broken with those. It's weird. This one worked, so... I must have just messed those ones up. But it doesn't really matter because the bank doesn't get used too often anyways, so... Very right next to this, we have my sister's uh, food shop or restaurant. She had her horse here, but as you can see, got a bit blown up. Right here, we have... The outdoor area, which has these really cool chairs you can get up into on this table. And front door, right here, 
these two tables, and then this is where all the products are organized. Payment chest. Upstairs area. Down here we got a chicken farm and all this farm area. Right here we have the fishing supply shop. Right here, very inactive, worn down, but it was technically the first building in the city. Then we have the old villager building. Very old build. Historic. It looks terrible, but we just keep it around because of the history behind it. Then we have this little thing right here, a little cart. Over here we have our area we reserve for events. And we want to do like a realm event or something. Fishing dock right here. And we have the firework shop. Which is called Falling with Style. And we have all the products right here. On this very nice end themed floating island. Now we have the city, which, starting it off, we have this currently unused building, but Brendan actually built this for a YouTube video for me, which you can go check out now. It is a YouTube short that I made. Didn't exactly hit it off, but I really liked making it, and I thought it was a fun idea. Now coming right down here, we have my iron shop. Which is actually connected to my other shop. We have the main product area here. Up here. And this area right here connects right here down to my other shop, which is my mob head and music disc shop. Which I don't have the products actually out just because, like, it's mob heads and music discs. You can't really trust people with those. And this upstairs area, which also connects right here and right here. And we can go up here. I just have this small little storage area. Then going down, we have the newer fishing shop, which hasn't really been used. Just kind of here to be here. Lots of barrels. And that's all that is to this. Then we have this building here, which is built by Cullen. I'm not really sure what he's going to do with it. It's just kind of here. It's it's pretty nice. Just so he can have a building in the city, maybe. Not too sure. But I do like it, because it, you have your separate sides here. This side, and this side. And you made a building that goes around it and connects it. And right here we have our two bridges, which are themed off of different kinds of woods. So we have our spruce bridge, our birch bridge, but we're going to go down this way first. All the way to this side right here. Hmm. Now we have the pizza hut. This was just a building built for funny laughs. Now we go inside, doesn't really have much to it. We do have the epic Pizza Hut salad bar though. Very epic. And right down here, we have the motel, which I think is gonna have something here eventually. We have all of our very identical rooms. And just cause like, you know, motels, all the same. This keeps going down. Yeah, and that's that room. And right here we have our third bridge, which is our oak bridge. But we're going to go down this way first. Now we have our axolotl shop. Now this is a very cool build, just because like, the theme fits so well together. Because you got all your blue blocks connected to your water theme with the axolotls. And it's just very nice. You have a little product display here. Then here's all the barrels that they're kept in. The showcase of all the different colors. You have this upstairs area with this really nice chandelier design. They're always some of the hardest things to build. All the barrels. And down here, 
we got this is like the breeding area got like growing areas for see um seagrass and you got your turtles here so you can get your turtle eggs oh yeah they, they sell turtle eggs too then we go out here to our next shop which isn't really a shop more of like an event place i guess you could say it isn't exactly done yet but it's going to be an ice boat race arena this spot right here come down here using your uh, water elevator down into this area which is just a massive cleared out area so they can make an ice rink all the way around it and you got your backup bubble elevator and that is that shop now we have our B shop which I really like because it has this nice standout-ish tower part on it which really makes the city feel like this uh, city because of uniqueness in the roofs you have your products all right here a nice upstairs area downstairs area where you actually get all the bees and next shop we have and i think one of the last ones or one more we have the light it up shop which is all just torches products and lanterns glowstone all that it's run by carter uh, built by brendan i think this nice upstairs area open window for some reason and then right over here to alex's shop which this is the shop name the gooderest shop ever in the world it sells mending books and emeralds nice little bookshelf area suspicious hole up here get your upstairs area with a balcony looking at one of alex's greatest builds you have your pirate ships this was the first one constructed in the town most accurate based off of the sea of thieves pirate ships at your down down here area back up here we're going to go over to these other ones now and now we have these pirate ships which are under attack by the kraken how nice this is the biggest one we got some dude over here all these armor stand dudes very nice then we have this smaller ship which is more like the one in the city more guys on it and it has the underneath area and then all the other ships here are almost destroyed or completely destroyed like this one and then we do have one more ship which is the one i built which is the warboat from clash royale there was so many different designs shown by supercell that i just decided to make a decent combination of all of them that would work in minecraft so we have a nice big flag i put two cannons and then two spikes on each side the golden front of the ship then it has this inside area with the actual interior design of the cannons done also and we have two trapdoors which drop us out here and that's that now we have this one more side of the city to show which is this area, which are buildings <laughs> all built by me for some reason. Starting it off, we have our museum, which is slightly based off the design of the Animal Crossing New Horizons Museum, which it doesn't really have much up in this area. A little bench right there, a little table. Down here, this is our entrance down to the actual museum which i haven't made much progress on since last time we got our retextured paintings our first set of netherite skeleton horse this thing i made it's a unicorn and our dragon egg now we're gonna add more stuff just need to keep digging that way 
And I feel like this should be pretty close to being finished by next time. Coming up next is we have a building I don't think I showed the interior of last time, but we have mine and Camden's luxury hotel. It is not finished yet, but it is on schedule to be the tallest building in the city. It has this main front entrance this desk right here and it actually has a nice little secret underneath the area that i don't think anyone knows about that i made there's some simple redstone not really going to use that area for anything yet then we have our main staircase area you walk up here you got this room you can turn off the lights in we got the next floor right here which is the exact same as the other one. Then we have the third floor, which we're starting on right now. I really like the design of this. We didn't want to make it completely identical, so we did change up the design every time we went up a bit. So, that's going to be really cool when it's finished. I think we're going to have five floors total, so about up to this height right here. Now, going to our next place, we have... The villager building I built a few days ago. Got all the villagers down there. We have this area with a sugarcane farm. And this spot right here. Which just leads to some clerk villagers for XP bottles. We have this warehouse thing. Which we're going to actually tear down for resources. Because Brady T who built it does not play anymore at all. And we don't really know what to do with it. And it's kind of taking up good space we could be using. So we're just going to tear it down and use it for something else. Next we have our sword nether portal. Which has this obsidian handle. And we'll top down into the blade which is obsidian. Coming down right through this rock. So that's, that's really cool. These torches. Nice forest redesign outside of it. Then coming up here, we have the most OG house on the server. We have Brady F's house. Very simple. Not very good. Kind of destroyed area. But it is here. And we keep it because it's historic. And here's an update of this underground area we've been digging out. As I said, I said it would be halfway done by the next video and i don't think it is i think it's maybe 40 percent done i don't know we'll keep digging it out see how much more progress we make up next we have brendan's house which has this cool waterfall coming down to it you can see some parts of his house sticking out come over here you got your hallways all even down these ways right here Iron farm collection for his iron farm, which doesn't work. Uh, strip mine down there. Up this way, you got all your farming stuff up here. All the animals are down this way. And the actual farms are over here. Then back up this way, he has his kelp farm, which doesn't work. Other little box area here. And all the way back down this way will bring us up to the connection to Alex's house, actually. And then right here, you got a storage room over this way. Behind the waterfall right here. And into a nice little bedroom area with all his pets. And the super vibe area. We're going to have Carter's spooky, spooky house. Now, in our actual nether, this is what we have. Not much really built just lots of bridges lots of it being completely destroyed we're gonna make something here eventually like actual buildings and stuff but that just hasn't been done yet and last we have our end this is our spawn pad and we blocked up so we don't fall in the void while walking over here it's kind of destroyed but at least we have the nice little end house that i built
right here. Very simple design. Infinite water source so you can scare off those endermen. Right here, obsidian roof so the dragon can't get inside. Of course, he still can if he tries hard enough. And that's really it. Don't really have much else done, but thanks for watching the video. I do have a content made ready to upload tomorrow. And then I have the 50 subscriber special, which is coming Monday. Write it in your calendars. Tell your mom, tell your grandma, and make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, gamers.